Hey guys, so here is a video that um, I'm just gonna put together as a bit of an idea for back problems, I guess. Um, I'm pretty skeptical, I guess, not skeptical. Um, there's a lot of videos go around saying, oh, do these exercises for back pain and that will go away. And most of the time they're kind of strengthening exercises, um, which I'm not necessarily you know, against. I think there's definitely a time and a place to be strengthening tissues and things. Uh, but majority of the time I would say uh, back pains and problems tend to come from a lack of motion and one or two joints having to do all of the work. Um, and because of that, you know, bodies get a bit squiffy, shoulders over here, pelvis is over there. Um, so what I want to try and do is give you some simple movement things which can perhaps um, allow more spi uh, spinal movement, allow more tissues to be loaded and unloaded uh, without having to lift loads of weight and stuff. So let's find ourselves lying down. I'm gonna use my mat, by all means feel free to do the same or just find your rug or carpet or whatever. And so we're gonna start just lying on our backs. So we're just gonna look at the body um, like three cogs to begin with. Um, in fact, we're gonna be looking at cogs basically throughout this whole thing. Um, we've got the pelvis, we've got the ribs, and we've got the head. Now, if our pelvis um, if you think about it from the side view, like you're looking at me here, the pelvis can do this, so we can create a gap under our back with a, what's called an anterior tilt, or we can push the back into the floor from the pelvis with a posterior tilt, so don't need to worry about that, but we can say um, we can tilt the tailbone away and towards the floor, so we've kind of got this movement going on. Now the same can happen with the chest, so hopefully we can begin to feel as if as our tailbone drops down, as our low back pushes into the floor, our ribs also begin to drop a bit. And then as our tailbone drags itself away and the gap lifts, our chest begins to lift. And then the chest drops and the chest lifts. The head hopefully will then just begin to follow that as the tailbone rounds and we push our back into the floor, the ribs drop, the chin lifts to the sky, we end up with uh, tissues closing at the back of the neck, opening at the front, closing through the hole at the front of the body, opening at the back of the body, and then as we tilt the tailbone away again, we end up with an opening through the front of the body, closing through the back. The chest is lifting as we come down towards our neck, and the, the front of the neck is closed, the back of the neck is then open. And so all you're going to try to do is just begin to roll yourself in each direction. And just gently, 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 you're not forcing anything, you're just going to slowly let yourself go from one way to the other and back again. So as you tilt the tailbone away, the chest lifts, the chin drops, the head stays on the floor the whole time, and then we'll go back the other direction. Inhale again, exhale again. And then from here, just making it a slightly bigger movement. Now all we're gonna do, this is where you're all gonna get confused, but you can watch the video back a few times. As you drag your tailbone or your pelvis here away towards your thighs, so the gap in your back gets bigger, hopefully you'll notice that as you're doing the chest lifts up, your arms wanna roll outwards, your thumbs wanna roll outwards. So now you can perhaps just give them a little tweak. So we have to roll them in, feel the shoulder blades draw towards each other and the chest lift a bit more and the chin drop a bit more. And then as you tilt the tailbone back, you roll it through the arms. As your chest begins to drop, it feels like the shoulders lift and then you come all the way back through and you can give it a little, just you're not forcing, you're just giving the arms an extra little wind inwards. And then so you can come back out through that, all the way out, all the way back in. And so this will give you a lovely long spinal extension and flexion. And what you want to try to do is move slowly so that you can begin to notice the fact that it's just your low back doing all the work perhaps, or perhaps it's just your upper back doing the work. And then you want to try to feel into the areas which aren't moving and can you begin to get those to lift instead? Can you begin to just bring some attention and focus into different parts of the 
minutes, five. Once you've done that for maybe five minutes, pop yourself up and have a little walk around. Hopefully, this is the kind of video that once you've done three or four times, you'll understand, and then you can perhaps do it without. If not, um, you can just keep coming back and uh, practicing along with me. So from here, we're gonna take our arms and legs out into like a star position. So um, if you're on a yoga mat, kind of aiming calves roughly um, on the corners of the mat, and the arms go over the head. So what we're now gonna to try to do is look at the body from a frontal plane. So we're now gonna to begin to try to get some of this side body movement things going. Again, in exactly the same that we had the, the chest and doing, the head doing this. From the side, as our pelvis drops one side, it kind of does a cog thing and then does a cog thing. So the pelvis is dropped on my left, my head is dropped to the left, my left shoulder, left body is high. And as I go back the other way, the opposite happens. And that's what we're gonna try and find on the floor here in the star, now all you're gonna gently do is try to reach your left hand as far away from you as you can. And hopefully what you'll feel is there's an automatic reaction that the right foot feels like it gets sucked upwards and your right side of the body gets shorter, left side gets longer. And then relax, inhale, reach the right hand away, left hand, so left side of the body gets shorter. Come back out, just do that two or three times and just see if there's like an automatic response where you're not actually finding yourself pulling the opposite leg up to the one you're reaching away, but it just automatically begins to slide. These are kind of reflexes which hopefully we should have from childhood. Now again, we're gonna reach, do the same thing but through the feet. So if you reach your left foot away, if you, hopefully you can see, it's not like I'm reaching it very far, I'm just feeling it, the heel slide an inch or two along the floor, and it might feel like the right side of the back of the uh, torso gets shorter. And then you reach the right foot away, and the left side of the torso gets shorter. And so you can just slowly begin to do this, and you can just feel some more tissue in your back load up, and it might be that as you begin to do this more, the shoulder blades can't help but just slide and glide over this uh, rib cage. So now we're just going to do a circle starting with the right hand. We reach the right hand away, feel the left side shorten, come back to centre. Reach the left hand away, feel the right side shorten, come back. Reach the left foot away, feel the right side shorten, come back. Reach the right foot away, feel the left side shorten, come back. So now I want you to play, pay attention to your head. So as you reach the right hand away, don't let your head roll around. Keep looking directly up at the sky, and so that as you reach the right hand away and the left side of the body gets shorter, hopefully the, right, the left side of the neck gets longer. Come back out, reach the left arm away, and the right side gets shorter, the left side, the right side of the neck gets longer. Come out. Left foot reaches away, same thing just happens. Right side of the body gets longer. No, it's shorter, sorry. Uh, right side of the neck gets longer. Come out. Final time with the right foot, reach away, feel left side of the body gets short, left side of the neck get long. Give your knees a little bit of a hug and a squeeze. Now, from here, we're just going to gently roll our way forwards and backwards. So, you're going to try to make this action as quiet and as soft as you possibly can. And you're just going to gently feel you roll from the shoulders up to the bum and back again. And then we're going to roll our way back down onto the floor for just the final little bit. Um, for our spine. So we're just going to take the legs long out in front, arms up over our head, and then we're just going to draw the knees in towards the chest, bring the left hand down beside us, drop the knees over towards the left and find the right hand on the left. Now we need to be nice and kind of slow and careful when we're doing this, 
because we want to actually just not necessarily move our uh, shoulders and whatnot. We actually want to see if we can move our spine. So the right hand here, which is on top currently, is going to, so the knees are going to try and stay together. The right hand slides over the head and you'll find that as you slide it over the head, it gets to about 12 o'clock and the thumb begins to spin to face down, the palm facing up and keep rolling gently through, keep rolling gently through and hopefully you'll begin to feel like the knees are staying together and the chest is now turning to face towards the sky. And then bring that hand slowly back over. And as it comes back over, it reaches 12. The thumb touches, thumbnail touches the floor. And we come round, palm to face down. Do three times through this. I'll go through it with you now. So again, we come through and we gently come down. Maybe you keep your head facing left just to oppose the chest. Because again, your chest, your head, and your. Um, pelvis are still playing those cogs together. So again, we'll inhale up, thumb down to the floor, roll yourself round and down. And again, maybe keep your head facing left as your chest goes right, your knees face left. Come back up, all the way down towards the hand. From there, we'll just slide our way over in the other direction. Dropping the knees over towards the left, over towards the right, hands come down to each other. Same idea as what we just did, so really nice and slowly. The palm slides flat along the floor and you should just notice that as you get towards 12, it wants to begin to, cur to turn over. And you're going to keep looking towards the right and that hand is going to keep coming down. Try to keep the legs nice and still and active as we just open that chest. And then again, slowly we draw that hand back over. We'll do three times again. Coming all the way down. Inhale, reaching that arm up over the head. Once you reach 12 o'clock, we begin to exhale the hand down to face towards the left side of the mat. So we've got this long T shape. Inhale the arm back up to 12. It reaches 12 and it begins to turn in. We roll it all the way down. Final time. Roll it over, 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 over. Exhale it down. Keep looking right, shoulders going open, pelvis facing right. Inhale it back to centre, exhale it round down towards the midline. Draw yourself back through towards the middle. Give the knees a bit of a hug and a squeeze. Roll yourself up one or two times again. And then just allow yourself to go for a walk and see how it feels after that. So see how you get on with that. It's just a simple kind of... 10, 15 minute uh, little routine. But the breathing at the beginning of breathing into the chest, feeling the head length and the chest expand, feel the ribs expand, the belly beginning to lift a little bit, the exhale of the ribs dropping. All of this is gonna begin to move muscles. All of this movement here is beginning to wake up for spinal facets. Um, so certainly, I'm not necessarily against the idea of strengthening tissues because it's you know, time's hugely, hugely important, but if you purely try to strengthen muscles for the sake of stabilizing, you kind of miss out on the whole point of um, your body should be able to side bend, side bend, should be able to rotate, rotate, should be able to extend and flex. Um, and if you're just building strength and locking down, then you're never then gonna be able to um, actually experience those movements when you walk. And you're never really going to get rid of your pain. You'll end up hiding it, but then it will just suddenly turn up for no apparent apparent reason when you just pick up a pen or something. Um, I hope this is useful. I hope this is helpful. Uh, please uh, leave me comments, send me messages, ask me any questions. I'll happily answer them. Um, have a great uh, rest of the month. Um, hope the sun stays out for it all. And then going forward, look forward to a great summer. Cheers, guys.